Police search caught on camera that led to a federal lawsuit. Two women were pulled over for speeding in Brazoria County, but neither could have imagined what would happen next. Tiffany Craig is live with their story tonight. Tiffany? The women were headed back here to Houston from the beach when they were searched. We're talking body cavity searched in a trooper's car. It started as a stop for speeding. Can I put my dress on so I have food? No, don't worry about it. Come on out here. But Brandy Hamilton, still in her bikini, and passenger Alexandria Randall never expected their trip home from the beach would lead to a body cavity search on the side of Highway 288. Um, got her zipper open on her pants. Or her Daisy Duke shorts, whatever they are. That's the trooper on the radio calling for a female backup. He reportedly smelled marijuana and found a small amount in the car. If you claim they were in the car doing something they had no business, and you claim you found the butt end of what they were doing, why do you need to do a cavity search? Hamilton was searched first and listened to her reaction when she realizes what's about to happen. Are you serious? Yes, you hit something in there? We're going to find it. You're going to go up my private car. Yes, ma'am. Turn over. The women say the trooper never changed gloves between the searches. So I don't know if she stuffed something in her crotch. Nothing was found on either woman. The female trooper from that day was fired. The male trooper suspended. I think it's a violation of the Fourth Amendment to do these type of body cavity searches. Our legal analyst, Gerald Treese, watched the video too. The thing that's offensive about this is the fact that it's, it's an, the most intrusive type of search, which is a body cavity search. And the question is for what? One of the women is still dealing with a marijuana charge. Y'all be safe. Thank you. Both have filed a federal lawsuit against the officers involved. And when it extends to our personal bodies in an open and public venue and forum, someone has to say enough is enough. Both women are asking for an undisclosed amount in this civil suit, which also includes a Brazoria County deputy who responded to the scene. As for DPS, they released a statement say they won't tolerate a violation of policy or of their training. Reporting live near downtown, Tiffany Craig, KHOU 11 News.